this is the segment of the show slash its own thing where we can recommend things to you. Do you have spare money that you don't want to give to us? Fair enough. I don't think there is any way for us to get any money, but we're here to recommend stuff for you to spend your money on. That is not us. Uh, if you're a huge fan of uh, The Last Drive-In and Joe Bob Briggs and Darcy the Mail Girl, Shipped Ashore has uh, got some pretty good deals right now on uh, the VHSs. They do custom VHSs of a lot of their shows. They just recently came out with Things, which is an amazing, like, self-recorded little horror film. If you're into, like, cheese, like, real good cheese, like, like that real stinky stuff, definitely should check it out. Um, also, I uh, just got to check out Barbarians on uh, HBO Max. I tried to see it in theaters. You know how it is. Just work, life, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic movie. Great, uh, great effects, great character development, great plot. Don't spoil it. It is pretty fun. I, I got a huge kick out of it. I mean, you got Justin Long in there. I mean, what movie has he been in that we don't like, you know? Uh, her Tusk is very controversial. That's one I want to review. Kevin Smith, Tusk. It's not like Tusk. Um, you also have Richard Brake in there. So if you like him too, he's pretty fucking cool in that too. Like very Richard Brakey. I would also recommend Cash App, Venmo, send us money. <laughs> but if you refuse to, um, two things that I'm going to recommend, it's really three things, but to the two of them, it's from the same author, a uh, one Mr. Uh, Nick Cutter. That's a pseudonym. I don't know anyone with a, with a cool last name like Cutter. If you're going to choose a fake name, other than Jackson Galaxy, that guy from Animal Planet with the cats, Nick Cutter's a pretty good one, especially if you write horror novels. The Deep revolves around a world where there is a unknown disease that begins to set kind of a worldwide Alzheimer's. So with that disease, there is an underwater facility where they've discovered some mysterious property that might be able to cure this disease. If you're going to have a story set in the deep, deep belows, there's almost no way you could avoid the Cthulhu or the whole uh, unknown insanity of, of that kind of expedition. And the novel does deliver on that. I mean, if you're someone that wants to just explore that the, the deep reaches of, of the ocean and, you know, you're scared by that, which I know I am, it, it gives you that in handfuls. But a lot of the motivation that got us there in the first place, we kind of seem to forget along the way. We just kind of ping pong back and forth. And the final, final bit of that novel where things go awry, obviously it was a big mistake coming down there and the, the insanity has breached into every you know, final surviving member of, of, this, um, of this team where we just kind of do a full, full 360 into like, wait a minute, maybe I might cut this out, this is a spoiler. It just becomes Hellraiser. I think Stephen King and like the book header was like classic horror at its best. So I will give him that. When we do focus on those individual aspects of those categories or those genres, I think that the writing does translate into a, a very good paced horror movie of those types. But it's just the whole through line. If you, if you go back and you're like, wait a minute, how does this solve? People losing their memory? For the deep, I'm probably gonna say it's a solid three out of five. Um, I cheated, I listened to the audiobook. You can have your whole dubs versus subs, reading versus audiobook debate somewhere else. But if you were gonna experience that novel, I think audiobook is probably the best format. I think if I sat down and read it, kind of like going to the theater versus at home streaming, like it's almost a little bit less of a painful experience if you kind of digest it through the audio format. The troop has to do with a troop of campers, camp counselors, or really the one camp counselor. It's classic Stephen King where a lot of the kids are not innocent or we have this level of blurred maturity where obviously they're not prepared for the situation, but who is prepared for a situation where a mysterious homeless man shows up on the island that just wants to devour everything. But even outside of that, just dealing with the kids and this whole Lord of the Fly situation, it's very interesting as we kind of just see their whole personalities, uh, some psychopath, some kind of teetering on it just because of the situation they're in. The book just does a really good job of just kind of feeding you all these different threats of, you know, things to be scared of, but we never lose sight of like these kids going through this fucked up incident and 
the the writing of of the gore and the violence it's, it's a you know speaking of tom savini it's a very tom savini of literature it's it's a very he doesn't spare any any word comma period it's all in there to give us the most graphic detail i would nitpick his decision to go on some of the details there's a lot of mention of boy penises i mean how many is too many but i would say this book kind of pushes that threshold uh but it it, it's, it thankfully sticks with like this is all bad this is all horrific and i thought it hit the mark a bit better than the deep so this one the troop by nick cutter i thought it was a much stronger finish so this is definitely a four to five this is one that i'm probably gonna go back and buy the actual paperback not a hardcover you know it goes audiobook paperback then hardcover a, a new doctrine just dropped you know we have the official quentin tarantino literature for the cult of, of the film bros um this is a must get for any sort of you know it's like hey you invite over you know you're the, the goth girl of your dreams and it's like oh my god he has books he's not a total loser and it's like yeah and it's not just a book it's the quentin tarantino book much like any sort of interview that you can hear from mr tarantino it's very rambly i obviously resonate with that that's one connection you know not a lot of things i would say um, are in line with me mr tarantino his obsession with feet can't say i really relate to that but hey i too can ramble and his writing style is very much in line with his scripts where it's very it's very much to a degree of excess but an excess of entertainment there's a lot of uh stories and a lot of things that inspired him in his process that you can go and explore mr nick recommendations my recommendations check them out send us money so we can buy more things so how can we recommend things if we can't get them again you know, send us money but figure it out just just you know think it and money will kind of deposit our way i'm pretty sure it's how it works so or like and subscribe that will help that too uh the second best thing